Hello everyone, Sir Jellybean here. We're back with Court Arms Gates of Hell Ostfront tutorial videos, and this time we're talking AT rifles. So in this video, we'll go through the various penetration of the AT rifles, the magazine sizes, what tanks are actually effective against, and how you should be using them, and where you should try to target on tanks to be effective with them, especially in the early game when it's the only AT you probably have access to. So first of all, we'll go through the different AT weapons. First, we have the Finish 20 PST, which is a bit different to the others because it is like a sport weapon. It's two man crew. You have to move it around like a sport weapon so it's not just a standard small arms. This thing has a 10 round magazine. It normally comes with 40 rounds but I've fired a few off. It has a penetration rate as follows. At 25 meters, 34 millimeters. At 50 meters, 30 millimeters. And at 100 meters, 26 millimeters. Next we have the Boys Mark 1AT rifle which is another Finnish one. It's meant from the British. At 25mm it only has a 7mm of penetration, at 50 meters, meters it only has 6mm of penetration, and at 100m it only has 5mm of penetration, but it does have a 5 round magazine, it's a very weak AT rifle, not very good. Next we have the PTRS, which is the 5 round magazine version of the PTRD, so they have the exact same penetration, both of them. So at 25m it's 41mm of penetration. At 50 meters, it's 39 millimeters of penetration, and at 100 meters, it's 36 millimeters of penetration. So it's the most powerful AT rifle in the game, quite effective. And that's the PTRD there, the one shot variant. And then finally, we have the Panzerbusch 39, which is the German AT rifle, which has penetration as follows at 25 meters, it's 31 millimeters of penetration, at 50 meters, it's 29 millimeters of penetration, at 100 meters, it's 26 millimeters of penetration, and that has a 10 round magazine which is pretty good rounds, but it's not as effective as the German one. So AT rifles, now they are light anti-tank, and they are effective normally against things like Panzer 1s, Panzer 2s, maybe even Panzer 3s at close range, and they can be negated against things like skirts, that's why I brought some out here just to show you, and against things like heavy tanks as you can see, so where's the strongest AT rifle, the Russian one? No, it's this one, apologies. So no chance of penetrating there, even if we run around it, nothing, nothing. Now tracks, you can damage. But as you can see, you've got red. You are not penetrating any of the front of that tank at all. It's just not happening. No way, Jose. But the rear armor, same certain areas. But from my opinion, you won't be penetrating the rear armor either. Now, if you come back here, let's get back to the 25 meter area. Things like light tanks, you can penetrate. As you can see here, bang. If we put some rounds through it, as you can see, damage is already stacking up. So you will penetrate light tanks with various AT weapons and medium tanks as well. You have got green, not on the front, as you can see there, it's quite thick armour. But once you get to the side, you can penetrate the turret, even with the skirts, as you can see. The skirts will fire off after a bit, so AT rifles will go through them. They only negate the damage slightly. But as you can see here, it's not penetrating the hull, but you can damage the tracks. So we're just going to fire away, and if we quickly flip... So we can see the actual damage done on them, just from that 1AT rifle at 25 meters. So we're very close, obviously. As you can see from the back. So this one, the tracks have been damaged both sides, it's saying. But it's one side, and you've got some slight damage to the hull as well. And the first tank damage to the main hull, straight through the front armor. So that light armor didn't stand up very long to AT rifles. So I'll quickly flip these back as well, so we can stop blowing the crap out of them again. Is that still? Mm. This one. Uh, yeah, player one, player zero. They should all be player one. Apologies. Player one, flip one, flip them back. There we go. Another thing to remember: range is obviously massively depends on how effective certain weapons are. So if we quickly get PTRS up here, and we'll move the finish gun to the 50 meter range. Just bear with me a sec. And even the, and then we also have the boys AT rifle. I will show you how poor this thing is. You can just see from the penetration rate, so it's 7 millimeters at 25 meters. And as you can see, you can't even pen some of the Panzer 1. And it says it will penetrate, but it will knock the skirts off, as you can see, potentially. But it's not even going to do much, really, effectively. It's not a very good weapon. 7 millimeters penetration will do tracks. But as you can see, even to the front of the Panzer 1, only certain areas will it penetrate. It will do the odd bit of damage there, but at range it is very ineffective basically doing absolutely nothing, but you can still snipe tracks if you get lucky. But it's definitely the worst AT rifle, I'd completely avoid that and stick with the bigger one. So now we're at 50 meter range, and you can see already, even Panzer 1 is getting a bit of block from this. Panzer 3 is saying that you can pen certain areas, and you will sometimes be able to get through the front. 
the KV, not a chance, but you can blow the tracks off or damage them. And the pans are three standards. You can penetrate in certain areas. So we're just going to fire a few rounds away and just show you, see if we can get some pens, show you the damage that can be done. So we're putting five rounds into the front here, anywhere where it's green. And we're also going to put five rounds into the tracks, see if we can damage them. Not getting any green. Just there, I think, we can get a sweet spot. See if we can damage the tracks a bit. But most rounds are bouncing. So, and then we're also, if we put the, do the PTRS, this heavier one, this can put a few rounds and it can do some slight damage. We'll try and aim for this, the flat areas, make it more effective. And then we'll quickly flip to it and show you the kind of effectiveness of AT rifles at 50 meters. As you can see, it took some light damage. The tracks are still fine. It took some light damage to the turret, light damage to the hull. Maybe you would have killed the odd passenger there, but they're not particularly effective at that range. I'd say the Russian one you can probably get away with. Um, but you can't really effectively kill stuff with AT rifles at range. Now, I find you can snipe infantry out and crew out like that, but no chance against the kind of actually fully destroying. And then we've got the largest tank here, so we'll quickly pop some rounds in, see if we can pen it. Now, this has got heavier armor than the standard Panda 3. We're just going to keep punching rounds through it and see how much damage we can rack up. Now, this is on flat armor, so if there's any chance to pen, it would be there. And we'll also use the big Russian AT rifle. See if we can put some rounds in him. But as you can see, most rounds look like they're doing absolutely no damage. Completely non probably And if we quickly flip it over, just so we can have a look. Oh, where's it gone? Flip it to zero, and then we go on to that. Oh, apologies. And as you can see, no damage whatsoever. It's took zero damage. Now if we flip it to the side here, and, we can, and then we flip it back, play a one. Sorry about this, I'm not the best editor. And then like, once again, we'll light the tank up. And as you can see, even the skirts are taking more of a beating at this range. They will fly off, but then penetration is difficult. You can damage the tracks, I believe, but it isn't easy. But we're going to pump some rounds in. We'll also use the Russian one, the heavier one. And as you can see, you can get some penetration side. We've got panels flying off from the other side there, so those rounds actually went through. Which is very effective, actually. So it's kind of surprised without the effectiveness there. And if we flip back to that, it has taken quite a bit of damage to the tracks and hull, but the tracks are still intact. Whereas if it was closer range, it probably would have gone through, but it would have killed some crew that. So you can be quite effective against your kind of light to medium tanks at the side at this range, but I doubt you're going to do much to heavier stuff. And then we're going to show you the KB. We're actually going to show you rear armor and show you kind of like how. Basically, how ineffective they are against heavy tanks at 25 meters. As you can see, you get no penetration. Now, you can hit the tracks, but even then, it's a tough job to blow them off. It's going to take a lot of rounds. You can try and shoot through them, try and break the wheels, but it's just bouncing. Big heavy tanks are tough cookies, as you can see. He's just absolutely absorbed most of those hits. Even, even the Russian one, that's the Panzer Boost, says the German one's got no chance. But if you've got the Russian one here, I think there's a Russian one here. Yep. Just quickly run him up. And as you can see, even against heavy tanks rear, you're basically doing nothing. And the KB, even though it is a heavy tank, it's one of the light heavy tanks compared to the later ones in the war. And flip it back to zero, just so we can have a look. Slight damage to the tracks, but you're still going to be able to use them. But no damage at all to the rear. So, basically, yeah, light tanks, medium tanks, very effective. We will show you the 100 meter range as well. Heavy tanks, I wouldn't even attempt at 25 meters, as you can see here. We've just There's no chance of penetrating. There's no chance of getting in. We'll all flip it around just to show you that I'm not uh, fibbing. I'm not trying to lead you down the garden path, as they say. Just um, So let's get the most powerful AT weapon. We do have rear armor here, and as you can see, nothing's going through. Now tracks, you can fire at the tracks. And as you can see, we are getting some hits. We'll see if we can actually blow the tracks off. At this range, 25 meters, so it's quite close. But as you can see, some of the rounds bouncing. We'll quickly jump back onto that, flip it over to one or zero, I should say. Slight damage to the tracks, but they are still intact. So you can use them to obviously immobilize tanks and damage them. But once you get to heavy tanks, you're basically outclassed and you want to stick to your you know, Molotovs, Satchel Chargers, Panzer Fausts, AT guns. But medium and light, definitely. And then here's the kind of 100 meter range. This is kind of where you 
want to be taking tanks out before they start engaging you. So one sec, he needs to get over that lip. My apologies. So we'll start with the, uh, the German weapon. I'm just going to lay down. As you can see at this range, he can hit, but he's got less chance. It's quite a slow weapon to reload, as you can see. And as you can see, the bullets are bouncing either for a Panzer 1 at that range. They're just bouncing straight off, not doing much damage. We'll try and go for the turret. And I think we did get a hit there. You might get some. And as you can see, against something like Panzer 3, not a chance. You can hit the track still. And the KB, no way, Jose. And we'll just show you the Panzer 1. Just after the Germans have had a fire at it. Um, as you can see, slight damage to the turret. Ever so slight, but no chance to pen basically at that range. We will... Um, but we'll go for the Russians now. Flip this back to one. We will try the Russian weapon, the stronger one. Put five rounds in. We'll try and get the turret as well. And as you can see, it is hitting a bit effectively. It's got better. And as you see, we've got a pen there. So the Russian one is strong enough to do things like take out a Panzer one at range. And as you can see, it took some significant damage actually. And as you can see, Russian weapon. Has done da bad damage to the hull and damage the engine, so that can definitely pen. So, if you've got the Russian AT rifle, the Panzer ones are not safe, even at 100 meters. And we'll also do we've got another PTR S here, I believe, somewhere. Um, just there, he's got PTR D. I want the S. Yeah, this spare one's here, PTR S, right? So, we'll just run this guy up because we need some more ammo. Get these out of the way. I'll just show you the effectiveness against. Um, medium armor as well with it. At, at medium, at this range, 100 meters, it's not going to be as effective, but you can still, you know, you can still do a slight bit of damage. I have a crew killed at 100 meters from AT rifles. As you can see, it's not as effective. We just put five rounds in, we'll just quickly flip to tank, show what you can do. And it did some slight damage. As you can see, it's done some slight damage to the turret and some slight damage to the hull. But it's still going to be very dangerous when that tank's firing back. But, you know, it, it can it can do a bit. It's not completely useless. And I think um, people do think AT rifles just drop up completely at that range. But they can still be a threat. Always worth taking out. I'm going to try the finish one. It's um, been a pain. Why is it? Move it to the lip. Sorry. <laughs> the fins are messing with me. Right. And as you can see here, it's not as strong as the Russian one. But it can still take on the Panzer 1 if it pens. It's actually struggling a bit at this range. It's not very accurate at this range either. But we are getting some decent hits. But it's struggling a bit with penetration. Trying to get that green. Try for the turret, but he's kind of lobbing over. We'll reload it, see if we can take the Panzer 1 out with this thing at 100 meters. But normally I do quite like the finish roll because the high rate of fire, the big magazine. But it is a drawback that it's a crew serve weapon. And as you can see, we are getting some hits on it, but it's not as effective as the Russian. And against the Panzer III, basically no chance. Just damage drop off is too much at that range. So basically, to sum it up, AT rifles, quite effective against your light tanks and mediums close range. After about 50 meters, the damage drop off is considerable. The only one that's really effective is the Russian one, which is the PTRS and PTRD, because they are stronger, as we said. Just go back over those penetrations for it, you know, the penetration rates. The PTR D and S have 41mm at 25, 39mm at 50, 36 at 100, which is pretty powerful. That's actually rivaling some my AT guns. So there we go, basic anti-tank rifle penetration ranges and how effective they are. Hope you found the video useful. If you have, like, subscribe and leave a comment. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching and have a great day.